Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Gavin here. And today in this video, we are going to be talking about cameras. So if you guys didn't, I know I usually am a gamer. That's what I usually play on. I play on the Xbox 360, but that broke. So what I have now is the Xbox One. So enough talking about consoles. If you want to check out that video, you can go back in the past. Yeah, in the past. And see if you can find that video. I don't know if I can leave a link in the description. I can, but if it's not there, I try. But if it's not there, I tried. And I just couldn't get it there, but that's not the point. So what I do, what I'm using right now is a Canon PowerShot D10, and that's what I'm using right now. It's a waterproof camera, still really good quality, good quality underneath the water, and it doesn't have a speaker on it, so you can't listen to your videos on this. So what you want to do is you want to probably take it out of your chip, take your chip out of it, and plug it into your computer, and then you can watch your video there. And then you, if you like it, you can upload it from there. But if you don't like it, you just put your chip back in and keep recording. So, that's the Canon. And what I use for my gaming videos, if I want to talk in them, I use a Kodak. That's what I use usually in my very first video and, like, all the way up through, like, four videos or three videos. That's what I use for this. But now the, that I have the Xbox One, that has a built-in screen recorder, so that's what I'm using, but it doesn't have a voice thing, so I'm trying to figure out how to get a voice thing on my Xbox so that I can record my voice and my gameplay and plug it in. It only lets me do five minutes, but I don't really like doing that long of videos because if I, like, mess up in my speaking, then, like, I don't have to worry about it sometimes, but it does take a little wh a while to download because I have to download it from my TV to my X, I mean, to my computer, and then upload it from there, but it's not that big of a deal. Now that I actually know how to do it properly, but, so, that's what I usually use, but if I want to talk in them now, I'm still trying to figure out how to get a voice thing, so if I want to talk in them, I use this Kodak. It's under, it's a waterproof camera. I don't know why I have so many waterproof cameras. It's kind of weird, but whatever. They both work really w well, except for Canons. This, uh, waterproof Canons, I would not recommend using on TVs because they're just not the best, but Kodaks are good. So that's what I use for recording my videos on my TV. And so, yeah, I love this camera. Very high quality for TV. It's 1080p. It says HD 1080p. And it can go underneath 10 feet of water. So, yeah, those are the Canons. So now we're talking, that's, those are the cameras, not the Canons. But uh, what now we're talking prices. So the Canon PowerShot D10, what I'm using right now, I would recommend getting just it is a little bit pricey. You could probably find it on Amazon for used probably around eighty dollars but for like not used uh... new you can probably find it for about a hundred dollars yes it is a little bit pricey but i definitely recommend it if you can fit in your pocket it comes usually with like a little strap where it like holds it and you and it comes with a strap where you can put it around your neck which i use that too once i'm like going out and taking photos and stuff like out in gatlinburg or whatever but uh, it does come with a little battery pack. That's what you take out of your camera, and you plug it into this little thing. I don't know what it would be called, battery pack, and it's like that big, and you plug it into your wall, and it charges, and it tells you when it's fully charged. That means it's, it has a green button. It charges, like the whole thing's charged in like 15 minutes, I think, or 20 minutes. It's really nice because I used, uh, I tried to use it last night, and it was actually dead. So what I did was I plugged it in. And it charges around 15, 20 minutes, and so yeah, that, that's the price of it, 80 to 100 dollars. For the Kodak, they're not the high, they're not higher quality for like just normal videos, like I'm doing right here, like a vlog or something. It's better for like, it's better for like screens and stuff, but you could use it as a vlog. It's just like not very wide lens and stuff. So I do use this for my TV. Very highly recommend it. It's probably around like you can probably find it to eight fifty dollars to eighty dollars if you're lucky. But they usually c cost around probably a hundred dollars. Like I said with the Canon, this is just good for like underwater. It's meant for underwater, so I'm not saying it would be good for like personal vlogs and stuff. But I think it's good for recording streams too. So those are the prices and the cameras that I like to use. So 
If you guys did enjoy this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you guys want me to do more vlogs like this, I can do more. Just let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe button. And let me know in the comments section below. So if you guys did enjoy, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.